Hey guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your company today and for all of your comments. Uh, still some more coming in. Uh, uh, hey Joyce, thanks a lot for the show. It really educates me a lot. God bless you. That's Val from Kariobangi. Um, I have Adimilio, Adimilo from Magumo in Nyandara County saying the show is awesome as usual. Watching live from Magumo Kinangop. Uh, Adizia from Kirinyaga saying really enjoying the show. Thank you for that. Um, Carol from Juja uh, getting inspired by the scripture of today and Sarah from Karatina here saying good morning Joyce I'm blessed by the word so much and also scared to know that loving something too much is idolatry and the way I love my hair may God help me and forgive me <laughs> and may full circle be blessed I have learned a lot from it thank you guys so much for your feedback please do keep it coming double two triple nine is the SMS line right now though we want to shift our focus and uh, talk about beauty and uh, we're giving you some pro tips to flawlessly match your foundation. My guest in studio is Lucy Wanjao. Karibu sana to the show. Uh, Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> yes, Juliet. Juliet. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Karibu right. sana to the Thank show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I understand. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show once again. I appreciate um, it. Tell us a bit about yourself and uh, makeup and just your journey into this point. Uh, so, first of all, yes, let me make uh, that clear. My yes. name is Juliet Njoroge, yes. and uh, I'm a makeup artist. Um, I work with Zaron Cosmetics Kenya, uh -huh. uh, which I happen to be the in-house makeup artist. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, I do marketing and business development for them. Okay. Uh, how I got myself into makeup... Uh, Lucy is your colleague. Yes, Lucy is my colleague. colleague. Yes, Sorry, yes, yes. You too. It's all right. <laughs> uh, so how I got into makeup. So I I went to college uh, where I was pursuing broadcast journalism. Okay. Uh, but then uh, along the way, I discovered makeup and then on YouTube. And then uh, because our school uh, has like a uh, school of film, uh, they used to have like projects and then I'd be called and then I'd get like extra penny and I, and I was like wow so to I can do people's makeup yes mm -hmm. so I can earn from doing people's makeup and I was like wow I get uh, from there I just started researching on YouTube and okay. teaching myself and all that and uh, the rest is history all right mm -hmm. well for most people choosing the right foundation can actually be very tricky yeah. um, of course, the formula is important, making sure it's correct for your skin type, but even more so the shade and mm -hmm. the matching of the shade to your skin tone. Because, man, we've been looking at some ghosts around these streets. <laughs> I know. <laughs> some people be walking around and they're way too ashy, or yeah. some people it's just too dark for their skin mm -hmm. tone, or it doesn't have the right undertone. There's a lot to know, actually, yes, yes. when it comes to foundation. So what would be your first tip, then, as far as choosing foundation for you where should one start okay so um when you're choosing the right foundation so first of all most people just go maybe to buy foundation because they saw someone looking good with a foundation and probably they've never used it before it's their first time mm. so uh, i would like to advise if it's your first time first of all buying your foundation first of all know why am i buying foundation is it that I want a flawless uh, skin or is it that I want to cover hyperpigmentation or acne or scars or do you just want uh, to just look, you know, right. glow or if you have a dull skin, you want to make it bright. So that's one thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. Know why you're buying your foundation. Okay. Uh, and then another thing, know your skin type. You can, because you know we have different types of foundation in the market. We have uh, like matte foundations, we have glowy foundations, we have those hydrating foundations. So know your type of skin so that you don't go buying uh, an oily foundation mm. and, you, and, your, and your face is so oily, right. you'll be clogging your pores. Okay. So another tip that I'd also like to give people when you're buying your foundation, uh, it's good to test it. So when you test it, uh, make sure it's matching with your, your neck. Your neck. Okay. So that's why we usually, first of all, make sure you, you test it on the, 
on the jaw line. And the reason you do it on because all of us really our faces are not necessarily one color. Exactly. Right? There's there's high points of your face, like for most people the center of their face will it's be usually a lighter than the rest lighter. of the yeah. So you test it on the side. You don't go and test it here. Yeah, you don't go test it. Because then here. it will be too light for everything else and you'll look funny. Yeah, exactly. So, so you test this here because this it's closer to your neck and also closer to the chest. Right. Uh, mostly some people have like uh, may maybe a darker neck or a lighter neck. So that's why we would advise you to test here so that you go with something that's flowy. There's no harsh line that's dif uh, differentiating your face yeah. and your chest and your neck and the rest of your body. So it's almost better if your foundation is slightly darker than it is lighter. Exactly. It's so easier to work with. Uh, it's, it's always good when you're actually in doubt. I, I usually advise someone to go for a darker foundation mm -hmm. Because you know right now people can do contouring and highlighting mm -hmm. uh, to just make it now even and all that. Yeah. 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 And it brings a nice warmth to yeah, your face. Yeah. It brings. Not to look yes. Ashy. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Because uh, instead of going lighter and then you end up looking ashy or you end up looking white, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so let's talk about also you've mentioned you know if you have oily skin mm -hmm. do you then get a matte foundation is that what it is or you buy foundation that is specific for oily skin because they do that too now yeah so the good thing is that now uh the more uh, times are going we have like more different fo foundations more different formulations so it's good um if your face is oily first of all i'd advise someone to go for either a matte foundation mm -hmm. or something uh, that is not oil based a foundation that's not oil based okay because once you go for if your face is oily and you go for an oily foundation you'll be adding more oil to your face mm. what does that do it causes reaction which most people call breakouts mm -hmm. uh, so that breakout is caused from the pores clogging from the oil in the, ex the excess oil now you're adding onto your skin gotcha. from the oily foundation right yes so okay. i'd advise if you have a dry skin go for an oily foundation and if you have a oily skin go for a matte foundation so do the opposite of yes what do the is. opposite all right um sometimes though when people are buying makeup you know like over the counter mm. or whatever in the yeah. supermarket you can't necessarily find your exact shade um, it's a lot, obviously, you know, there's hundred, maybe, I don't know, hundreds of skin tones mm -hmm. out there in the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's not always possible to find your exact shade. What would be your tips then as far as blending the two foundations? Or is this where you say, save your coins and get the darker one and then use highlighting and contouring to sort you out? Uh, so uh, there you can use options depending on uh, what level of, of expertise or expert professional you are when it comes to applying makeup. So some people when they don't, uh, it can be tricky. Sometimes you can not get your foundation totally. I understand it happens. There are some people who have like different undertones and uh, we will mention that uh, mm -hmm. as we go by. But uh, in the meantime, if you don't get your shade, it's okay to mix two foundations. Either maybe a dark one and a light one to suit your skin complexion. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's okay. You can mix two foundations if you don't find your shade. Or if you, you, you like I said earlier, get a darker foundation and then that dark foundation you either, con uh, you highlight and contour. Now to make like you, how do I say it? To make it like you. Right. Yeah, to look like your exact okay. skin. Yeah. Let's talk about undertones mm -hmm. very quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, there's different undertones. Um, maybe actually, let me give you the chance to explain mm -hmm. what undertones, first of all. So are. undertone, so when I look at you, I can tell your skin color, but then now undertone is now the, do I say like the under, under now the skin, when I look right. at you, can li, like, do you have a yellow undertone? Do you have a red undertone? I actually learned we also have like a gold undertone. Yes. Yeah. So as you go by, so when people are light, they tend to have like a yellow to white undertone. Mm -hmm. And when people are dark, they also tend to have a yellow or a red undertone. A red undertone yeah. yeah. So if, if you go to a professional and you're buying makeup, they'll be able to advise you right. according to your undertone. And there's always that sort of quick test that you could do. I think mm -hmm. it was if you look at your wrists, like the inner yeah, part yeah, of your yeah. wrist. 
um, if you can see sort of like green, like veins. your veins are green, then that means you have a yellow undertone. Yes. Um, which like I would have. Um, but there are others like it would look much more reddish or darker. Yeah. Almost like like blackish. Yes. Then yes, that yes. means you have a red undertone. Yes, you have and a red undertone. And that's very important because it determines how your foundation will exactly. sort of oxidize. And also one and thing that like people get wrong. Uh, they assume that when you're dark skin or you're when you're light skin, red. you're definitely like red undertone. No, yes. it, you can be so light and you have a red undertone yeah. and vice versa. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what, when you upscale, you know, from, you know, buying your makeup, you know, over the counter, those are things that you could learn because mm -hmm. it, it really affects because sometimes you'll get the right color of foundation, color foundation. Yes. But then because of the undertone, it just makes you look either darker or dull or yes. something because the tone is not. Or correct. it will oxidize. Yes. Uh, actually, that's where now the word oxidizing from a foundation comes from. If your undertone is not right. Yeah. Definitely your, your foundation will oxidize to the the undertone okay yes and it won't match Juliet thank you very much for mm -hmm. being here today mm -hmm. and uh, sharing this with us there's own comment here um, Carol from Juja says wow I'm glad to see someone from Zaran cosmetics Monday these products are everything I wouldn't mind if Juliet would reward me with one of the foundations <laughs> I've been following their journey of their brand ambassador uh, uh, <laughs> thank you I don't know if you're feeling generous I I'll put you on the spot yes um, we we can organize that definitely okay okay carol from juja she says she might be able to organize something for you mm -hmm. thank you once again thank you and uh your foundations where can people get them uh so we have uh stores all over town but yeah. the simplest thing is to just follow our page yeah. and you go to the highlight where you can find all where our stores are located Great. yes fantastic asante sana for your time thank you so much all right guys we need to take a break now as we get ready for the top of the hour coming up next we're going to be diving into relationships men today we got you Stucky could scare your boy shout this boy shout that okay today we're going to be telling the brothers what sort of chicks they should be aware of and what sort of relationships they should be aware or beware of uh getting into later on we'll be joined by a nutritionist and dennis uh focusing in on his weight loss journey and specifically what and how much he puts on his plate stay tuned i'll see you at 9 a.m